Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. There's something interesting which is going on in the sky from quite some time, and it seems we have missed it. It's the mutual aspect of Jupiter and Ketu. Now, the question is still, when is this mutual aspect there? Well, of course, uh, Jupiter is in Aries for quite some time. and But the thing is, Rahu Ketu will change their signs, okay? So, depending on which Rahu you Ketu you take, you take uh, mean nodes or you take true nodes, uh, the date of the transit will vary. But roughly, you could say till end of October, around uh, you can expect that this uh, transit is there <clears throat> so this mutual aspect is there you could consider uh, so mid of october to mid of november so end of october roughly so which means for yeah another two months this transit is there and this is a very interesting transit because jupiter is not just aspecting ketu here he's conjunct rahu and by being conjunct with rahu he's aspecting uh, Ketu, of course, because we know Jupiter has three aspects, you know, five and nine, also along with seven. So now if you see the current uh, transit chart today, Moon is in Rohini Nakshatra uh, in Taurus, then Venus has gone direct in Cancer, and then Sun and Mercury, uh, Mercury is retrograde till 15, they are in Leo, then Mars is in the sign of Virgo, and Ketu is in Libra. Jupiter Rahu is in Aries and Saturn, as expected, is <clears throat> retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, right? So this means uh, till end of October, if you see, Jupiter is going to aspect Ketu and then Ketu will change the sign and you will go into the sign of Virgo from Libra because Rahu Ketu always goes retrograde, which means they will go to the previous sign. <clears throat> and this is something very interesting because Jupiter and Ketu, they have very similar characteristics, yet they can be very drastically different. So, for example, Jupiter and Ketu both have an element of spirituality which is very strong, which means anything to do with the higher side of life, you know, the bigger bigger things, it's not just like uh, job, marriage, career, profession, health, uh, love, romance, not just that. Uh, it is something much, much more than that, much beyond that, okay? <clears throat> so this means when this mutual aspect is there, uh, then it is a very good time to uh, start some new spiritual practice. Now, of course, Jupiter is now retrograde, but we can still start. Now, what we also have to understand is that Jupiter in general represents a spirituality which you learn from a guru, okay? which you learn in an ashram. Okay? Ashram does not necessarily mean in a brahmachari ashram, uh, but it is cultural learning along with spirituality, okay? which means it represents certain, uh, how do I say this, standard pathways to get spiritual knowledge, which is descending from God himself, right? From God and then from Maharishi Vyas and then through the Guru Shisha Parampara, it has come to various Acharyas in today's context, you know, in the 21st century. But what does Ketu represent? Ketu represents spirituality also, but... Uh, may not be in a very traditional sense okay so ketu can represent things like uh, you are in a foreign land and you go and meet some guru there who has also learned from some authorized parampara but uh, is very unusual you know like uh, the religion is different the caste is different the, yeah the skin color everything is different you know because rahu ketu represents things uh, which are beyond beyond like the standard things, standard boundaries of uh, traditional life. Okay. So now, what does this mean? Jupiter is aspecting Ketu. What, what does this mean? You know. So this means uh, Jupiter is trying to influence Ketu, which means there is some traditional element which is coming into um, the non-traditional circles. Okay. So because of this. 
you you will see or you would have already seen because this transit is there since Jupiter had entered Aries. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have seen in general, you know, people have started to realize this uh, idea of SBNR, spiritual but not religious, that this does not work because... Uh, why why did people uh, come up with this idea you know like sbnr spiritual but not religious because um yeah unfortunately in the last centuries there has been a lot of violence and discrimination which has gone uh, in the name of religion uh, whichever religion you take you know you you can keep weighing the scales uh, oh this religion has done less than that you know but primarily it, it has happened you know violence and discrimination so because of that, what has happened is uh, people have started to give up on religion and they claim that <clears throat> they have become spiritual without getting into religious things, without getting into religious texts, by staying out of religious communities. But that was there like 20, 25 years back. But now as people are realizing, you know, that uh, even to become spiritual, you need to take shelter of somebody who actually knows the religious text you know otherwise um, you you will get half-hearted answers okay so there's this thing that uh, when there is a problem in your uh, limb of your body you know you, you you try to reform it you try to you know treat it you just don't cut it you know that is like the extreme step so in the last 50 years that is what modern society has done they have criminalized all religious practices you know um, criminalized in the sense you know that anybody who is religious is seen as very boring orthodox you know useless mm, uh, how do i say conservative okay but now people are realizing that um although there has been a lot of problems with religions uh but still there are so many good things which we can take you know so you ignore the bad and you take the good things and when you do that, then you actually attain very high fulfillment. You know, a lot of people are in the West, I see especially, they are taking to Hinduism, you know, Sanatan Dharma as it, it has always been. You know, wherever I go, I see people there. I mean, a lot of Lord Krishna's devotees and uh, it's Janmashtami also uh, today or tomorrow, depending on when you are, where you are and when you are seeing this. A lot of devotees of Lord Shiva are coming up, you know, in the West, you know, like Shakti. A lot of devotees of Lord Ram, they are also coming up. A lot of bhajans are coming up. You know, a lot of kirtan is coming up. A lot of yoga is coming up. So, <clears throat> a lot of things are going on, basically. You know, so people are realizing that we can accept religious uh, texts, uh, but in proper consultation with somebody who is knowledgeable and experienced and who himself follows so this this is happening more and more i see you know anyway any anywhere and everywhere i go i see people are talking about you know like they're talking of yoga they are talking about the vedas the upanishads the puranas you know and yeah about, about the vedic texts in general you know because you know, the vedic texts actually uh, represent jupiter you know because not only just the Vedic, uh, Vedic texts, you know, like it, it is any any religion which has a, a bona fide source that is represented by Jupiter. So, in the unorthodox circles like Ketu, uh, now Jupiter's influence is very strongly seen. You know, people are returning back to their roots. People are uh, trying to find who they are. People are trying to understand who they are. People are trying to understand who actually what is actually their culture their heritage you know who who they are, what's their identity basically they are trying to find this okay because uh, without this you can't uh, actually survive much long you know it's like you um, yeah you you, uh, you 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 perish basically because you don't you have no idea of what's your existence what's your blood what's your dna right so therefore you will see that um, Many people, they are becoming atheists, agnosts also. That was the situation when I was like small, you know, 20, 25, 30 years back. But now I see people, uh, people are becoming more and more connected to 
uh, the Vedic tradition everywhere I go, you know, like I'm in Germany and whenever I go, whenever somebody knows that I'm from India, they're always asking, you know, about Indian culture, about yoga. They also ask about astrology, numerology, palmistry, like the chakras, the meditation, dhyan, samadhi, bhakti yoga, karma yoga, jnana yoga. They're asking, you know, so uh, this transit has been very important because people are now realizing that we need to get back to our roots, okay? And that can only happen through somebody who is very much aware of the religious texts. Otherwise, you can keep saying, you know, I am SBNR, SBNR, SBNR. But at the end, to become spiritual, you have to take shelter of some religious text because as the Srimad Bhagavatam says, dharmam tu sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma is coming directly from God himself, okay? Nobody can define what is dharma. Only God can define that. Okay. So this is a very good time to read the Bhagavad Gita, the, the Srimad Bhagavatam uh, or the Ramayana or the Mahabharat. So then uh, you will realize what is actually dharma, what is your dharma, what is what is that you should do, what is that you should be aware of, what is that you should not do, you know? dharma, adharma, all this and you will also know about karma yoga, jnana yoga, ashtanga yoga, bhakti yoga. You know, then you will be able to understand yourself more and you will be able to understand what, what, what are your strengths and how can you capitalize on them and how can you manage your weaknesses, okay? So therefore, it's a very exciting time to be in uh, and therefore, if you have not joined any spiritual community nearby you then please 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 my humble request go and try to join and i'm sure you will have a great experience uh, you still have two months of course it doesn't mean that after this transit is gone you can just you you, you can never do it it doesn't mean that but this transit will certainly help you to find a spiritual community okay and get more enlightenment and uh, because it is ketu so it is not just superficial knowledge you know it is like knowledge based on um, uh, very concrete uh, concrete realizations okay so try to find somebody in, in your city in your town you know who can help you and guide you spiritually okay thank you very much for your patience and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you liked this video click the thumbs up hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know how can they become more spiritual or what does this conjunction mean, okay? And yes, if you want a personalized consultation from me, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.